I've created a weekly meal planner in Excel where you can select up to three items for each evening's meal and then create a shopping list from that. You can create your own version of this or you can download a copy at the contextures.com website. Just go to the index page and look for planners. When you open the workbook, make sure you enable the macros. So click options and enable the content. There's a macro in here that lets you find recipes online. So if I look at this recipes sheet, I can put in an ingredient like beef, press enter, and then click get recipes. I might see a message that tells me there's no schema right now. You can turn that off if you don't want to see it again. Click OK, and then you'll get a list of 10 different recipe ideas. To see the recipe, just click on the link. You can also see the ingredients that are required for that recipe. So you're going to enter your own list of recipes in this workbook. There are some in here already. So I've got just some basics like burgers and pizza and some baked sole, just some things to get you started. So you'd enter your own recipes in here or just go with what's in here right now. And you can also, for your own reference, put in a link to that recipe or put a cookbook name and page number so you can find it when you need it. Once you've got your recipes in there, you have to list what's in each recipe, at least the main ingredients that you'd need to go shopping for. So if burgers were in your list of recipes, then we'd need some ground beef and some buns to make those. Or if we're going to make chicken stir fry, we need chicken, carrots, broccoli, and onion. So just the main ingredients you're going to list for each recipe and also put the category, which is where you'd look for that when you go to the grocery store. And there's a dashboard in here that helps you set it up. So before you use the meal planner, you can find some recipes, then put in your recipes and put in the ingredients. And then at the start of every week, you're going to go to this list of weekday meals. And this one's filled in. So maybe I just need one more item on Saturday and I could pick carrots. So each week you'll clear this out. Just leave the weekdays and then select meal items for each weekday. And then when you're ready, click the shopping list button. And that creates a little pivot table sorted by category. So where you're gonna find it in the grocery store, then alphabetical ingredients and summing up how much you need of each ingredient. So you can just print this sheet and off to the grocery store.